Hello students, in this lesson we are going to learn about a new idea okay, which is trigonometric equations okay. and as you can guess trigonometric equations are simply equations which involve trigonometric functions of unknown angles. Okay. Now what kind of equations are we already familiar with? Something like ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 or 2x squared plus 3y minus 10 equals 0 etc. These are all what we call as algebraic equations. Okay. We know how to solve them. right? And what will trigonometric equations look like? For example, sin squared x plus cos x minus tan x is 3 or cot x plus cosecant x equals root 5. These are all what we are calling as trigonometric equations. Okay. And this is what we are going to learn how to solve. Okay. Now, as with algebraic equations, we will start with simple cases. We do not directly solve cubic equation. We started with simple linear equations and then progressively looked at harder problems. Right? Similarly, let us start with simple example. Okay? We are going to consider sin x equals half. Now, some of you may think, sir, this is already a solution. This does not look like an equation. This looks like the answer to the equation, but that is not correct. Remember, in an equation, you are trying to solve for the unknown. What is the unknown in this? x is the unknown. So, you have to solve for x. Always in trigonometric equations, you are trying to solve for the unknown variable, not sin x or cos x or tan x. Okay? So, even if sin x equals half is given, it is not the answer, it is the problem. The answer has to be the value for x. Well, that is also not too difficult, you may think, because we can write sin x as half can be written as sin of pi by 6. Remember, pi by 6 is the same as 30 degrees. Okay? So, now we can conclude that x equals pi by 6. And remember, this is not by cancelling sin on both sides. Okay? This is not a product, it is a function. Okay? So, cancellation is not allowed. Okay? So, but still x equals pi by 6 seems like the right answer. Okay? Is that all? Why do we make such a big deal if this is all it is? Wait. Okay? Now, let us also understand how the graph of sin x looks. Okay? So, suppose we try and plot the graph of sin x. You know that it is going to be like this wave kind of thing. And what are its upper and lower limits? Well, sin x maximum value is plus 1 and the minimum value is minus 1. Okay? So, these are the two limits within which the sin x curve will lie. Now, we want to solve for sin x equals half. That means, if we draw a line at half, so this value is half. Okay? Now, this is the intersection is what we are trying to find. Okay? Now, we can clearly see that this point is a common point for this is half and sin x. That means, if you plot this thing, this is going to be at pi by 6. Okay? So, that means our answer is correct. x equals pi by 6 is correct. But is that the only solution? No. As you can see, all these other points where the sin x curve, blue curve intersects the green line are all valid solutions. What are those values? Well, you know that sin of pi by 6 is half and sin of 5 pi by 6 is also half. Okay? So, you are going to have 5 pi by 6, 13 pi by 6, 17 pi by 6, etc. Okay? And similarly, in the negative side also, you are going to have many angles. And why is this? Because sin x is a periodic function. All trigonometric functions are periodic. That means, the same values will keep repeating. Right? So, you are going to have multiple solutions like this. Right? So, we can say that x can take infinite different values or this equation sin x equals half has infinite solutions. This is the big difference between what we have normally seen in algebraic equations and here. Quadratic cubic will have two solutions, three solutions, etc. The simplest possible trigonometric equation has infinite solutions. Now, if I put sin squared plus cos minus tan etc., you can see that if we simplify, you will get multiple possible 
uh, cases like you can get sin x is equal to 1 by root 2 plus or cos x is equal to 0 etc. All of these things are going to lead to infinite solutions. That is why trigonometric equations is an interesting thing where we have to somehow figure out how to solve for all the possible values. Remember in an algebraic equation in quadratic if you just gave one value for x is that ok? Obviously not correct right. That is why this is important to recognize all the possible solutions and remember that this is not just for sin x. All the trigonometric functions that we know are periodic and are all going to have similar kind of situation. This is what we are going to learn how to solve in general.